All right, so today, highly requested, highly demanded, highly, I don't even know what other word in the vocabulary to use, how to crease your 501s. Right here, got a brand new pair. Hasn't been creased at all. I'd say, my opinion, 501s are probably the hardest pants to crease, okay? It's not like with dicky pants and like in my previous tutorial because dicky pants come with the crease. So you kind of already have an estimate where to do it. and also dickies are cotton. So they're easier to create a crease in them. On the other hand, 501s are denim, if I'm correct. Jeans are denim, I'm pretty sure. So it's really hard to crease these and get the crease where you want to. And if you miss the crease, then you're pretty much almost screwed because the crease is going to be permanent if you do the crease correct, which we will be doing it today. So this tutorial is going to be super long because this is, I can't explain this. Hold on. Let me put my phone on silent. I'm not going to be able to explain this, how to crease 501s in a short amount of time. It's a very, very, I'm not, in, a, in other words, I'm not going to leave anything out. I'm going to give you guys the whole truth instead of just trying to make a super short video. So this video might be 30 to 45 minutes all i know is when i crease a pair of these a brand new pair probably takes me about an hour or you know what yeah it might take me about an hour because i'm gonna have to explain everything but yeah there's gonna be no cuts in this video well there might be as far as i know but most of this is gonna be raw and i'm going to be using my camera microphone so excuse me if that's a bit quiet i will try to amplify it in post but also i live in an apartment complex so i can't be too loud at the same time also keep in mind i'm using a 50 millimeter lens so that's why it probably looks very close and like i'm out of focus right here but then when you get right here i'm in focus let's see is there anything else so the pair of 501s that i'm going to be creasing today are the black I believe they're called I believe it's called stonewash the black ones hold on let me make sure that's in focus yeah the ones that are pretty much the ones that are like really black Let's see and so these are not the dry to fit ones or what's it called yeah dry to fit I believe right or wash to fit the wash to fit ones are like the super, super rough starched ones. Those ones are really nice, but today I'm going to be doing this one. The reason I'm going to be doing this one is because this is the only brand new pair of 501s that I have that are not starched or that are not creased, excuse me. So, but it's going to be the same concept for any pair of 501s that you crease. And these are real. 501s, no, I did not get these from the Suami. No, I did not get these from the Callejones or if you guys don't speak Spanish from the alleys here in LA. These I got from the, I have to order my Levi's from the actual Levi website because I'm a bit of a bigger dude. I'm six foot two. So I have to order a big and tall size. So these right here, even though it doesn't say right here, as a matter of fact, let me grab that. <clears throat> Make sure that's in focus. These right here are size 42 by 36. And no, that's not, that doesn't fit. That's not my actual size. Of course, I get mine like a ridiculously big size. Since I'm a bit of a taller dude, I can order them longer and also uh, longer by the waist. And they won't look that big on me because I'm a bit taller. But also, I will be making another video eventually, hopefully soon, explaining the benefits of wearing oversized pants, because there actually is benefits, especially with 501s. But uh, yeah, mine do drag a bit, and I'll probably, I'll probably try to find some pictures of me and my 501s and show you guys what mine look like when they're like brand new, freshly starched. 
But anyways, I think we can get started. Let me explain really quick. Actually, I'm going to text back my friend really quick. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. So obviously, you're going to need... Now let me pull focus on this. You're going to need an iron. Here's the iron I have. And me personally, and I would recommend ed everybody else to do this as well, take the water out of your iron because I recommend not using steam at all whatsoever. And of course, we're going to be using the highest setting. Sorry, this is going to be a bit hard to get on camera. I'm going to be using the highest setting because it, they're jeans, of course. But yes, no water in your starch. Do not use steam at all. That's how I get the... If you think about it, right? W water is... Steam is water, of course. And if you apply that to your 501s when you're trying to starch them and get a crease, you're pretty much diluting the starch. And in this video, I'm not going to dilute the starch at all, and I would recommend that you guys do the same. Also, I have a super long thumbnail. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. It's a tool, all right? It's a good tool to have on you. Anyways, let me grab the starch right here. So the starch we're going to be using is called Stay Flow liquid starch this is the best starch on the market i promise you and we're not going to be diluting it at all but what you're going to want to do oh really quick do not order this on amazon it's extremely overpriced on amazon head to walmart and buy it from walmart or order it online from walmart at walmart i believe it's like five dollars for one of these super good price and then you're going to want a spray bottle. Any type of spray bottle is fine to put the starch into so that you can apply the starch onto your pants. Well, specifically 501s because that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And then, yeah, that's about it. Of course, you're going to need an ironing board as well. Here's the official Levi's shrink to fit. Oh, well, this I got from a different pair of fans. These, these are not shrink to fit. I got this one from a different pair of Levi's, but yep. All right, uh, let me rack focus really quick. Like I said, this is gonna be extremely raw and uncut. I'm gonna tell you guys the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Another thing too, keep in mind, I'm not, I also want to give you guys some of my, or you know what, let me, I'll just rack focus onto my hands, you know, what? while I explain this. So, what puts me in a position to show you guys how to crease and iron your 501s, I've been now creasing and starching for, I want to say, about two years, two, three years now. I'm 20 years old right now. I actually just turned 20. And I literally get compliments on my creasing and starching skills all the time like i'm literally el mejor planchado en el condado like that's literally me um if you guys don't speak spanish i don't really know how to say that in english so i apologize also side note i'm working with daylight i have no lighting equipment i apologize your boy's kind of broke just had to get new brakes on my car but yes and i'm um, also, I'm sorry that I still haven't started ironing these. It's just that it's a lot of information you guys need to know. Because this right here, ironing your 501s is really no joke. It's like, it's honestly a dying breed. And it's an honor. It's such an honorable thing to do when you crease your 501s. But anyways, I've been starting and creasing for three years now. And if there's one thing most important thing that i can tell you guys is that you're going to need to be patient just like you are with this video right now because i'm looking at the monitor right now and i've already been recording for 10 minutes and i haven't even started ironing but there's one thing you need to be patient because when i first ironed and creased my first pair of 501s i was like oh i mean i guess they came out good but then I had, you know, I was still getting, I was still growing because, you know, I'm young. 
So I had to buy a new pair. Then I crease those. And I'm like, oh, wow, I did these better than the last one. Then I bought a new pair. Then I'm like, oh, wow, I did these better than the last one. Pretty much what I'm saying is it's going to take a long time to perfect. You have to keep doing this. And the only way you're going to do this is, is, is if you love to do it. I've met people and know people who are like, hey, Vincent, can you show me how to iron? I'm like, oh, yeah. Then they never come through with it. That's why at this point I'm done with all that. I'm trying not to cuss right now. I try not to cuss on this channel, by the way. But I, if there's one thing I noticed is if you love to do this, you're going to do it. If you're one of those guys, I'm, I swear I'm trying not to cuss. If you're one of those guys that are trying to do this just for TikTok or just trying to do this just for clout or whatever, I guarantee you, you're not going to, your creases are going to look terrible and you'll probably crease once in your life and give up after that. This is for people who love to do it. And this is not for people who are Chicanos or people who want to look like a cholo or people who want to do any of that. This is just for people who simply like the style and maybe like being old school as well just like me i'm not i'm not no cholo well i'm a chicano i'm not no cholo but i don't do this i don't do this just to take pictures on tiktok or take videos and and try to look old school or any of that i really do this for the love and the passion of it and it's truly just it's it's something that I, it's really just a, a love that i can't explain but anyways i think that's enough explaining for me and I, I think we could get started. So first, let me rack focus here on the pants. First, gonna plug in my iron. Remember, maximum setting. Ugh. All right, now that my iron's getting heated up, as you can see, I have some 501s right here. Yours might not look like this because as I said before, my 501s are over. I always buy my pants oversized purposefully. So this right here in the front is what's called a pleat, P-L-E-A-T. So that's what you you can do if you get oversized pants. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. That I'll be showing you guys how to do that in the, in another video where I explain the benefits of wearing oversized pants. So what we're going to do here is right now, what I like to do is I actually pretty much I like to do kind of prepare the pants before I even crease them. So what I'm really going to do is I'm just going to iron them normally, like just normally flat like this. Let me make sure I get this all on camera. Literally just going to iron them like this. Pull out the pocket, of course, that's, you guys always want to do that. Pull the pocket up to the top. And then just start flattening them down. Simple. Just gonna start flattening them down. Also, since these are black, these are these catch a lot of little cloth and little things on them. So if you have this pair as well, I would recommend getting a lint roller ready. Like this right here. This with this one doesn't look too bad. So I don't think I might not be needing this, but I'm just going to keep it right here. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I know a lot of people who are like, oh my God, Vincent, you're creases are so good like your 501s are just insanely nice can you show me how and to be honest with you guys whoever's watching this i i really just got to the point where i'm like no bro like honestly like learn learn how to do it yourself because me personally i had nobody in my life to show me how to do it Unfortunately, my dad really doesn't like the fact that i crease my pants or my 501s because he thinks it's strictly tied to gang affiliation and things of that nature so i really i didn't have anybody to show me i and on top of that the reason i'm making this video is because i know for a fact that this is going to be the best tutorial on how to crease your 501s on youtube i when i first started learning how to starch and crease 
every tutorial on YouTube was not showing me the things that I wanted to see. I didn't understand when I was looking at a pair of 501s, I, these tutorials weren't showing me anything. But in this video, you're gonna find it here, buddy. I promise you that. So let me shut up and keep flattening these down just as you normally would iron a normal pair of pants without a crease. Another thing too that I forgot to mention actually is I am going to be showing you guys how to do a baby cuff. My definition of a baby cuff is a half inch crease and it's also going to be a double cuff too as well. So it's going to be an inch total but it's going to be a half an inch cuff if that makes sense but I'll show you guys at the end. So I'm going to keep flattening these down. That's another thing too that you will not find, oh god. That's another thing too you will not find on YouTube is how to baby cuff, guarantee you. I mean, and I never even really, I never even really called it a baby cuff, I just called it a cuff. The reason it's called a baby cuff is because it's small and cuffs are usually about an inch like in the Dickies tutorial I did, but these ones right here are gonna be half an inch and I'll show you why, explain to you why later. But anyways, I'm gonna keep flattening them. But anyways, I apologize if I keep talking a lot. The reason why I keep talking is because the only way you're gonna learn is if I tell you the whole truth so if you're getting impatient watching this video then i can't help you i honestly i don't think you i don't think you want to learn that's kind of just my opinion uh, if, i don't think you want to learn if, if you're getting impatient from me talking so much it's just that all the information i've gathered through it pure experience right because nobody taught me how to do this pure experience you know, I'm just trying to share it all with you guys as well. I'm trying to pass it down to the next person. And then if you guys, by any chance, want to hear my personal story on why I, I dress like this or why I learned how to crease my pants or why I started doing that, that story will be coming soon. Me and a buddy of mine named Night Train are going to be filming a doc. Well, I'm going to be filming the documentary. He's going to be a part of it as well. Filming a documentary on Pasadena and our lives. And I'll be explaining my life story. It's going to be extremely personal. And I'll be explaining the full story on why I dress like this as well. But that's a little, that's just a little plug. I'm not going to be explaining that on this channel. On this channel, I mainly focus on tutorials and giving you guys an education, knowledge, and just teaching you how to do things. Also, another thing too, in this video, to try and make it shorter, I'm only going to be doing one leg, one pant leg. You, after that, you guys will understand the concept, but I'm only going to be doing one pant leg, which will be this one. Just try to save time. Also, I just want to say really quick, if you are out there watching this and you're trying your best to learn how to crease your 501s or your dickies or whatever, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I wish you the, ble the best of luck to keep this culture alive because this is not only a Chicano culture thing, it's not only a Latin culture thing. Anybody who creases their 501 is a part of a very specific culture and I would go as far to say as a minority as well, because definitely people who crease their 501s, I would say we're absolutely a minority or not 501s, but their pants, just their pants in general. 
just pants in general a minority so i wish you the best of luck to keep this culture alive and i just want to say thank you as well uh, if you if you made it this far into the video just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart bro and i wish you the best of luck man and i pray and i hope that this that you absorb this message well that my delivery is at its absolute best for you to understand and learn the most you possibly can So now the pants are looking pretty good, looking pretty good and flat. So now what we're going to do really quick, something I might have forgot to mention, or no, I mean something that I did forget to mention, is you want to make sure that your button, that your 501s are buttoned all the way to the top. You want to make sure all of these are buttoned. Absolutely all of them. And now we are ready to apply the starch. Really quick, this is one of the benefits of wearing oversized pants that you don't have to unbutton or button your 501s because they're just so big. All you do is take off your belt and slide them off. That's what makes it. That's one of the, I would say one of the biggest benefits, one of the biggest right there. Especially if you're about to get lucky and you need to take off your pants. <clears throat> and if you don't know what I mean by that, don't worry about it. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna flip your pants inside out. So grab it from the bottom. So now, my pants are inside out. Now what you're going to want to do is spray starch on the entire pair of pants. So this leg, the other side, the other side. Oh, hold on, really quick. When you see something like this, if you see the inseam and it looks like that, what I like to do is iron that, flatten it down. Might not get completely flat, but it's, it'll do it, you know? There you go. See, it actually did get pretty flat. So it was kind of folded and all messed up, but we fixed that. Your The thing is, is if you really take pride, what a lot of people don't understand is that this cre creasing, ironing, this is a form of art. And your 501s, your dickies, whatever you're going to do, you have to take pride in this. Because if you're doing this, I... I more than guarantee you, I more than know already that it's because you love to do it. And if there's one thing I've learned is that your pants, they gotta be beautiful inside and out. And that's why I just fixed that little thing right there. They gotta be beautiful from top to bottom. They gotta be creased from the very bottom of the cuff up to the waistline. Even if, you're, even if your shirt's gonna be covering your waistline and you don't have a shirt tucked in, gotta be beautiful from top to bottom, bro. Anyways, little side note, but yeah, we flattened that little, that little, what should I say? That little flaw, that was a little flaw right there, but we just fixed it. So now let me check the other side. All right, so now if you really wanted to, you could only spray starch in the center where you have a rough estimation of where the crease is going to be. 
I would not recommend doing that if it's a brand new pair of 501s. I would highly recommend starching the whole thing. Don't ask me why. I'm just a veteran. I don't know what to say. Um, I would say it's because it's hard to estimate where the crease is going to be. That's why I would recommend just spraying down the whole thing. Anyways, let's grab the starch now. So now you just want to spray. Make sure you spray directly because this stuff will fly everywhere if you don't and it'll get and harden anywhere. So now you just want to apply this. Okay, I don't know what that is, but a little, if you see any little pieces of lint or any little things like that, you want to take those off. And then another thing too, as well, don't worry about getting the, don't worry about starching the cuffs right now. We'll come back to that. Do not worry about it. Just worry about the crease for now. So now I did that side. Now I'm going to flip it to the other side. Just spray down the whole thing. You really want to put on a lot. Keep in mind, 501s, jeans in general are very thick material. So you want to put on a lot. And by the time you're done, your pants will be standing up for you already. By the, when you wake up in the morning, you just got to jump into them. All you got to do is simple. Okay, now that that side's done, I'm going to spray the other leg too, even though I'm not going to be creasing it in this video. I'm just going to be doing that so that when, by, when I'm done recording this video, I'm going to do the other one because obviously I'm really creasing this pair for myself. I just want to make this video as well. So I'll cut out this part because I'm, not, I'm only going to be doing one leg in the video. Okay, really quick, I finished spraying them down. I I just don't think I sprayed enough, so I'm really quickly, 
Oh, hold on, this thing is coming back up. So really quickly, I'm gonna spray some more. So now that I'm done spraying them, we're going to fold them back inside out. So now guys, this is going to be the most crucial part of this tutorial. You're going to want to fold them in the right spot. Where we're going to have the crease is pretty much where you see this crease right here. It's right where the belt loop is. See, this one is right in front of the belt loop. This one is right before the belt loop. So you want to grab them, the 501s by the belt loops. Put them together, right? So now they look like that. Hold on, let me make sure it's in focus. So look, belt loops, two front belt loops. Put them together like that. Fold them. Hold this part. Grab the, 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 center, the center belt loop in the back. Grab that. Pull them apart. So now it looks like that. So I grabbed these two in the front, this one in the back, just pulled them apart. And then there you go. But that's not it. That's not it. This is still, this is why 501s are probably the hardest thing to crease. So now get your pants up here. So now look, these these legs right here, not really listening. So look. Hold on, let me recreate that. Okay, look. These 501s right here are like acting weird, right? Look. It has like this little thing right here. So what I did was I just pulled it apart. Just pull it apart. That's it. literally just going like that the reason that there's a line right here is because we ironed them flat so that's why there's a little line right there don't worry about it too much patience remember now if we look at the bottom the bottom of the pants are acting a little weird so I'm gonna pull a cuff apart See now this is where it's gonna get difficult because these pair this pair doesn't want to listen to me, but yeah, see this is acting really weird. Pretty much before you make the crease, you want to fold them with the crease first before you make the crease. this pair right here is I'm really just pulling it like this and another thing too that a lot of youtubers people who made tutorials on how to crease your 501s or whatever they always say oh line up these two seams line up these two seams me personally I don't care. I want to get the crease right. I don't care about these two seams. I've done that before and I messed them and they never come out right. I personally, I would recommend it doesn't matter. Okay. As long as you line up the crease in the right spot. So 
so right here I'm really just trying to find this because look like right here this doesn't want to flatten out like right here if you guys could tell right here it, does, it really doesn't want to flatten out you just want to get them flat now as a matter of fact you know what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna flip this to the other side move the other leg out the way I'm gonna try to flatten it out like this let's see that's better that's better but now see this side's being a problem right here And another thing too, you guys are most likely going to find this difficult. Hold on, I'm sorry, this ironing board makes so much noise. You guys are going to find this difficult for your first time. Me, it's a little easier for me because I've been doing this many, many times, right? But this is going to be, this is probably, this was the most difficult thing for me my first time. And another thing too, there's a little piece of cloth hanging out of the 501. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get scissors and I'm going to cut that. As a matter of fact, I'm, I think I'm going to burn it because that's a bit better than cutting it. So that'll just shrink it down. Because if you just cut it, it'll keep pulling out more and more cloth. But if you burn it, that's a bit better. It won't do that. So now, just going to keep trying to flatten these out. Keep in mind, no crease. No crease. These 501s have not been creased at all. Uh, pull these down. So now you look, you could see, look where this pocket is. The back pocket, the crease is going to be right at the corner of that back pocket. I mean on both back pockets, but it's going to be right on the corner. Of the back pocket that's how you know you got it right that's how you know you just nailed it So I personally like to crease the front side first. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And I start from top and I move to the bottom. Once again, uh, now, as a matter of fact, that I think about it, I'm pretty sure we'll, we have to create the cuff first. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the crease, and then I'm going to leave some space at the bottom so that we can create that cuff. Because you don't want to do the crease first and then cuff. You want to be able to crease the cuff too as well. So right now... And yeah, damn, I'm gonna have to move it this way for you guys to see. So I'm gonna have to turn this over. And then remember, pull the pocket out. Cause I'm, I can already feel this one's already like messing it up. So pull the pocket out. Always wanna do that. So now what you guys wanna do, sorry, things making a lot of noise. Grab a bandana. If you don't grab a bandana, you will burn your 501s. And as I said in my Dickies tutorial, I do pr like to burn the crease just slightly to make it more permanent and make it shiny. But with this specific pair of 501s, you don't want to burn these because it's just going to look strange on the dry to fit or the, sorry, loud ass car. With the shrink to fit 501s, the burn looks so good, but with these ones, it's not going to look good. So I'm going to grab my bandana. Well, regardless, I'm going to get the bandana anyways. But... So 
So right here with my bandana, I literally just fold it once. Just once, that's it. Now I'm gonna put it onto here where I'm gonna make the crease and hold on. Let me make sure. Hold on. There's a little weird, I don't know what, hold on. You guys can't see it. There's a weird little feeling right here. I think it's the pocket, I'm not. Huh, I don't know what that is. Okay, got rid of it, okay, now it's just flat. So now we're good to go. So now, so I'm gonna start ironing it. You're gonna want, you're going to want to apply pressure you're going to want to go back and forth a few times. This is why we have the bandana because you're going to be doing this repeatedly and you and if you don't have the bandana you're going to burn it for sure. So instead here we burn the bandana instead of the pan. After a little bit of ironing. Oh wow, it already damn. Okay, I don't damn. That it already came out pretty sharp. I'm not even gonna lie. After just ironing it for that long. Wow. I just have I mean, okay, me personally, I just have the magic touch. Not to brag, but to brag, you know. But even then, even here, it already came out sharp, but I'm gonna go in again and do it once more. just to make sure, make it official. So to check your, if you, sorry, if you want to check your crease and see if it's sharp enough, I would recommend I just look at it from an angle like this. And if it looks very flat and sharp, then it should be good to go. But it's definitely going to take two tries to get that sharp. And then right here, you can see at the top, there's no crease. But the thing is, is we want to be creased from that complete top to bottom. So what I'm going to do here right here is I'm gonna go in without the bandana because this is extra thick so it's gonna take some time so I'm just gonna go in without the bandana first I'm gonna do this little part right here and then the waistline or the belt line I don't know waistline waistline right yeah look at this oh damn I just messed it up Almost did. Hold on. Alright, I could tell that's starting to get burned a bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. So now I'm gonna move on to this the waistline. You're not gonna be able to get that sharp of a crease in the waistline unless you really, really, really do it for a long time. But that's from to me that's good enough. There we go. Now we're just going to continue this.
All right, gonna check the crease. It looks good, but then again, you can never be too short. So I'm gonna go in again for a bit. the way that looks now we're gonna move down again oh yeah these are coming oh yeah these are clean these are already clean clean as hell so now like I said careful I don't want the pants to fall off I'm gonna leave a little space down here where the cuff is because we're gonna we still got to do the cuff but so like I said Still gonna leave a little space down here for the cuff. Don't wanna crease that and then make the cuff. You wanna do the cuff first and then the crease. As a matter of fact, these are acting kinda of weird right here. Let me make sure. Oh, there we go. Get that first. Check the crease. Oh yeah, it looks good. Gonna go over it one more time and we should be good. Yep, that's good. You also want to make sure that when you check the crease, you want to make sure that the crease is as sharp as the one you made before at the top. So you want to follow it all the way up. And if it's not as sharp as the one on the top, then you have got to keep going. Hold on, my pants keep falling off of this thing. All right, so as far as right here, I think I'm going to leave about this much space the crease ends right here I'm gonna leave about this much space for the cuff even though that's not it's 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 not a lot we're only gonna cuff about an inch because it's gonna be half an inch cuff but times two because we're gonna fold it up twice I just want to leave some extra space so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crease crease the back side of the pants and then we'll do the cuff afterwards so let me get the back side of the pants up here Make sure you guys can see it. But as you can tell, as you can clearly see, look, I can literally, hold on, let me get that in focus. This is already coming out nice. Hold on. God damn, get in the camera. Oh my God, damn. I'm about to cut myself just like this. Already sharp. Damn. That's clean. I'm in, I'm like, bro, like, I'm impressed with myself. Like, damn, I'm doing good. Like, I've came such a long way. You guys have no idea. I've came such a long way. Crazy. When I first ever made a crease, 
I remember it was in a pair of dicky shorts and I didn't even know what like I didn't even know what that was I didn't even know what creasing was I just I just went to the swap meet and I had got some dicky pants or some dicky shorts and I just I and they come with the crease so like I just folded it and ironed it like that and the rest is history bro but yeah man come a long way for real Alright, hold on. You know what? Let me... Let me move the focus a bit further up. That should be better. There we go. Alright. That looks good. Remember, right at the edge of the pocket. You could see the pocket right here, the little corner of it. It's exactly what you want to see. So now I'm going to repeat this process. So this part right here is going to be a bit harder to get the crease in, but I'm going to show you guys how to get a good crease on it in a bit. Don't worry about it too much right now. looking good so we'll come back to that and I'll show you guys how to get a sharper crease in there I'm gonna move down continue the process trust the process get with it or get lost feel me getting bright the sun's finally coming out it's already cloudy and huh yeah see right here it didn't come out that good on the first try so I'm gonna have to keep going And see, this is why I'm making a video instead of just explaining it to people. That way you can see what I'm talking about. See all the little techniques like this right here, up and down and side to side and whatever. So a lot of this you're just going to learn by looking without me even saying anything.
Okay, see? Yep. That looks way better. It didn't come out good the first time, but now it's better. This little portion right here isn't coming out completely flat. There's still a couple wrinkles, so I'm just going in right here now. Also, this is a live commentary, unlike my last Dickies tutorial, which was, uh, what's it called? I just recorded the audio afterwards, but I'm actually here right now, live in the flesh, explaining this to you guys. pretty good. I'm going to go in one more time. All right, now it looks good. Now what you wanna do is flip it to the back side. I'm gonna explain to you, let me try to show you. So we're on this side right now. What you wanna do is flip it to that side. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna flip my pants so we're on this side, flip it to that side. So I'm gonna come back over here and this is where you'll get that crease right on the back pocket. We want to go on this side now. Try to get this flat onto the, the ironing board. And get that flat. So now that this is flat right here, just push your put your bandana on there, and you're good to go. Now iron it on that side, but iron it right here where you're not touching the pocket. That's how you'll get the crease right. Definitely need to go again. And like I've been saying for this entire video, guys, a lot of this is just going to come with experience. If this is your first time, then good luck. looking good now and now I'm just gonna follow all the way through to the bottom
now this is when the crease really gets sharp once you iron the other side that's when it's like game over you're gonna have when i tell you man you're gonna pull so many girls bro i mean obviously if you have game i'm just saying but you're gonna get so many girls you're gonna be turning heads with this promise you i mean mostly old what i would say is mostly older people are the ones who recognize this stuff the most but you know is what it is you might be able to pull a cougar or two you feel me should be like oh my god I haven't seen those in such a long time. And then you'll just be like, yeah, baby, you know, you trying to get a closer look or what? I mean, hey, I'm not gonna need these pants anyways, but you feel me? Was that a little too rated R or what? Let me know in the comment section. And see, once you get really experienced, you won't, you won't even need to look at the crease anymore. Like, you'll just know, like, oh, yeah, that's done. That's good. be right back I'm gonna grab something to drink this is how long and hard pause no homo anyways but this is how long and hard it take it is to iron your 501s like you literally have to take breaks in between I'll be right back all right guys I'm back got my Arizona So now, now what I'm going to do that we're here on the back side is I'm going to iron the center of this, of the pants, not where the crease is, but the center. See, there's all little wrinkles and folds like right here. Wait, where am I pointing? Like right here in the center. That's what I'm going to get. I want to get them as flat as possible.
hundred times better. Hundred thousand times better already. I'm gonna move up. Not gonna lie, I think I messed up a bit right here. There's a little area right here where there's a piece of extra extra cloth that wasn't there, but it's all good. It's not that big of a deal. Also, never leave the iron on your pants unless you're trying to light your house on fire for whatever reason. Insurance fraud, I don't know. good so now I think we are ready for the well sorry excuse me I don't think I know we're ready to move on to the cuff so you know what let me flip this to the other side yep these pants are looking pretty good what you want to do you see on the inside of the pants there's a little inseam that is a half an inch so what you want to do is just fold that inseam out literally as simple as that okay now see we got it like that it's just perfectly right where Actually, let me point to this perfectly right where the seam ends, like that. And now you just want to iron that. No bandana, no bandana, and this is why we didn't put starch on the cuff yet. We're going to do that in a bit. Hold on, I'm thirsty as hell, I don't know why. <sighs> Damn! So now... I'm gonna go on inside of the pants, iron that so that you pretty much just set the cuff in place, lock it in, you know? turned off so I gotta unplug it and plug it back in.
So now we've set that into place. Now we're gonna do the cuff again. Sorry, I don't know what that noise is. We're gonna fold this up again one more time. Like that. Like that. Like this and like that and like that, huh? Or however that song goes, I forgot. <clears throat> And you just want to make sure that it's folded in perfectly into itself. And now you just want to iron that part. Hold on, can you guys see that? Let me move that down a bit. I'm at, I'm over here asking you guys a question like you could talk back to me like what? All right, so now, now is when we put the crease in. So what I would say first is I'm gonna finish the crease here on the pants, and then I'm gonna crease up these cuffs. So I'm gonna put this on like that. Get that.
okay now for the cuff I'm not gonna use my bandana because it's so thick that it doesn't really need don't don't really need that but oh I almost forgot we have to apply the starch too on the cuff so I would re recommend doing it outside of, well in the inside and the outside so like that actually we are gonna have to use the bandana on this side Hold on. it's gonna be a little messy but hey I'm just gonna spread it out like that go now I'm gonna hit it like this Hold on. got some starch on my hand Then to iron the inside, I'm going to stick the bandana in there. Getting tired, getting tired, not gonna lie. Still on the first leg, too. I almost touched the iron. Wow, that was uh, pretty stupid. Back to here. Almost finished. There we go. That looks good. And that is where I'm going to have to end this video. I'm going to finish ironing these. Hopefully it doesn't take another damn hour, but what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to hang these up, but do not fold them at all. I'll show you.
grab one of these, right? Put that in focus. You know, just clip the top of the pants onto these things right here and just hang it up. Let it dry overnight. The starch will harden. You'll wake up. The pants will be standing up by themselves. Trust me. Don't fold these. You don't want to... What you don't want to do is... Well, I don't have a hanger like that. But you don't want to say, like, put the pants in here and then, like, fold it over like that. Here, I'll show you. Give you a little demonstration. You don't want to put the pants in here like that and then let them hang like that. You don't want to do that. You want to let them hang straight down. So that's why I'd recommend this clip. But anyways, that's all I have for this video. I apologize for the video being very long, but it had to be said. It had to be that long. Anyways, I hope you learned something new. If there's any questions that you have, let me... Um, Zoom into my hands, or you know what? I'll just zoom in to that, whatever. If there's any questions that you guys have, let me know in the comments. I always get back to my comments. Any questions, anything you might have misunderstood, let me know. I will answer it in the comment section. Any help you need, anything for the community, I got you. Anyways, I'm done. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope this helped you out. If you're if this is your first time trying to crease or starch or whatever, you guys have a blessed one. And as I said, good luck.